Hi, and welcome back to this week's edition of Grandma's Cookbook, where I wish I actually had this as a kid, because honestly, one of the things I hated the most as a kid and still kind of do now is shepherd's pie. Looking over what hash parmenter is, I don't even know if I'm saying it right, it's got two-thirds of the shepherd's pie, the best parts. Along with that, this is a very slapdash recipe, as you're going to see on this week's edition of grandma's cookbook. All right, we're going to go a little differently than what the recipe is written here because for time's sake and efficiency, I decided to do it this way. Start off with boiling six potatoes. I tried to boil six potatoes, but my pot wasn't big enough. So I used four, four and a half potatoes. Get those boiling and set those aside while you do the rest of the work. You're going to need to mince one onion and two tablespoons of minced pepper. Now, I looked at a bunch of other recipes online, and I could not figure out if they meant black pepper, green peppers, because many had either or both. So I just decided to go with green pepper. Mix those together until they're lightly browned, and then add one and a half pounds of hamburger and, quote, scramble well. Once the meat has browned, you will barely cover the mixture with water and cook slowly until water is almost entirely absorbed. Then you're going to add one teaspoon of something called kitchen bouquet. Now I could not find any of that in my grocery store or any of the ones near where I live, so I went with a substitute, something called gravy master. Then also add salt and pepper to taste. Once the meat's done, now it's time to move on to the mashed potatoes. So all you're doing to these mashed potatoes is putting them in a bowl and then adding some butter and one egg yolk. And it specifically says, do not use milk. And also don't be like me, actually use a potato masher. This took me a very long time. Once the potatoes have been mashed, grease up a pan, a deep dish pan, and put half of the potato mixture on the bottom. Then put the layer of the meat. And then you should have enough potatoes to cover the top of it. But since I did not have a big enough pot to do the potatoes, I only had a little bit left. Sprinkle the top with breadcrumbs, and the recipe doesn't give a temperature or a time for how long you should uh, bake this for. So I put it in the oven for about 20 minutes at 400 degrees. Pull it out, and voila, you've got yourself some hash parmenter, or hachi parmenter. I don't, I, I really don't know. Either way, like I mentioned in the beginning, this was actually pretty good. Uh, probably would have been a lot better if I actually... Let it maybe go a little longer to toast the breadcrumbs on top or actually have enough potato to cover the top of it. It's the best parts of shepherd's pie, and I very much recommend you try this yourself. That's going to do it for this week's Grandma's Cookbook. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time with another edition.